So Zenzak's off to heal. I think we should secure this area. What? We're supposed to bag and bury all this body rubble? Body rubble. Oh my god. Investigate thoroughly. No, I think I, I think we'll, we'll go thoroughly because I want an item. And we got a fair few people and we're waiting for healing anyway. Though we have an attack soon. Zanezak's back in action. Zanezak, come on up. All right. All right. So site secured. A thorough delving through the mysteries of track blind has proven rewarding. Always strikes me how much there still is to find, you know. Track blind will return to the hands of the common folk. While they tend it, the site will provide resources at the end of each chapter. Good, good. All right, we got the Earth Shell Belt. Block five. Uh, that might then go to zero because Icky's already got some increased block. I think we're going to go for zero. There we go. All right, I think then we need to start working on building a mountain, building a mountain pass here, so that we can go up and further and further beyond. We're actually safe from an attack at the moment. Oh, that I suppose they could come down here. Hmm. No, we'll, we'll keep going. We're going to build a, a pass. We're going to add everyone on and build it as quickly as we can. Calamities, here we go. Extra health on the Frusk. The Gorgons get the Rager. The Morthagi get the Watchman. And the Gorgons get the Row Corrupt Path. Oh, we'll go with them, I think. Yeah, I don't think we're going to face too many Gorgons, so I think we're okay gonna be a big angry wall that's what i'm hoping yeah bas basically going for a build like a barbarian in DD. whereas icky's going slightly more for the high i guess high damage dealer um attacks of opportunity that sort of thing whereas i think zero is gonna be a big angry ball of hit points <laughs> who, who will deal more damage as they lose hit points as well which i think is good all right the passageway is open we need to explore okay up through the mountains into the foothills of lochor Gorgons are here. Okay. So I think we need to clear the infestation in the Kerpine veins and then take this place for ourselves. Attack of opportunity. The opportunity is there, there. <laughs> yes, that's right. So let's get cracking on that. Clear this out. Good. And let's assault it. We'll just send everyone. Is that eight bit goggles up there? Yeah, it looks like he's coming back. Hey, it's just like Zanezak said. Barrowmorn is just over the hill there. Time for a few pints and a hot meal. It's a waste of time. We still have a few hours of daylight. We should press on. Aw. We've been traveling a lot lately. We could all use the break. Tomorrow we fight, but tonight we drink. Come on, I'm buying the first round. Woohoo! You're going ahead without me. I don't feel like pubbing it tonight. You know what? I'll catch up to you later. Icky's going to stab someone for not going to the pub. Hey, how about you help me with that leg sweep move? What's wrong with you? Or maybe I should give him some space. I'm gonna go with the leg sweep move, maybe. You mean the sweeping swallow? Oh my god. <laughs> oh, it's not just called the drop down spinny leg sweep thing? I spent a fair amount of time perfecting it. The least you could do is get the name right. Weeping Willow, got it. I love Icky's face here. You don't have to stay just to keep me company. Hey now, nailing this move could save my life someday. That it could. And practicing can't hurt, especially given how bad you were the last time you tried. <laughs> it's this face! <laughs> oh my god, what? What's happening here? Combat? Oh no! Why is it? Oh no, this is just the combat we're going into. That's alright. I, I thought that was as a result of being taught. Okay, so we need Icky at the front and Zero at the front. So, Icky, Zero... Link armor, Zane's that. Link armor, goggles, Link armor. Okay, Zanezak, open, not Zanezak, sorry, Icky, open the door. Looks like we're okay so far. Zero up by the door. Ready, goggles in right next to zero. Zanezak, I'm gonna put behind goggles so we've got a long line through the door just in case. I don't know if they can open doors, but you never know. Oh, there they are. <laughs> All right, we'll start with goggles. Goggles are very good at area of effect. Area of effect? AO? Yeah, that's what. Area of... Yeah, that's what that means, right? Rope. Constrict. Okay, so we can hobble an enemy. That could be helpful. Splinter blast. Constrict. Those are our options. I think we could do some stone. I think we're going to use the rope. 
And we are going to constrict the Rager, who is now hobbled, can't move. Perfect. All right, we're going to put down an ambush along this corridor. Oh, I should have used the Thundering Challenge later on. Yeah. We're going to put Guardian down and Guardian down. Here we go. You are hobbled. You aren't meant to move. On the other hand, we just killed you. We killed you for your rudeness. <laughs> your rudeness. Uh, Goggles, what can you do at the moment? That raccoon's all the way over there. I'm wondering, can we interfuse with that barrel? And then using the barrel, can we splinter blast to kill the raccoon? No, but we can do some damage. We're going to do a shooty shoot. Very nice. I think we're going to strike with Icky. Very nice. And now Zero can run up, get a little bit of cover. Can you get a little bit of cover? What are your, what are your cover chances? Zero? Why can't you move? What? <laughs> Why? What's happening here? Uh, scenery in the way or what? Well, guarding then, I guess. Well, that's just rude. <laughs> well, now you can move. Were you pinned by something, I wonder? Don't like that camera. Okay. Uh, icky, 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 icky. I want you on the other side. Get some flanking. And then goggles get up closer. Uh, interfuse with that sack. And then use that to constrict the raccoon. That apparently won't work. Oh, we can't see it because of the, the sack, annoyingly. The sack is in the way. Okay. Zane Zack, can you shoot over the sack? Yes. All right. There we go. A good kill. Everyone's relatively okay as well. The Sewer Perch of Turningham. Oh, it's a wand. Oh, well, that's got to go to goggles, right? Yeah. How does this compare with the wand? Oh, do more damage. Let's do it. The Sewer Perch of Turningham. <laughs> there you go. You get a special wand. Scuff marks on the floor. What? Oh, is it something? Only the evidence of a furtive mind. The implication being, this cabinet was moved. Yeah, uh, you can use your arms, right? Shifting the cabinet takes a little sweat. Ugh, are you even helping? But they manage. What's there? Definitely a hole in the wall. Wow. Have to admit there is one. You're working together? Well done, Ekifu. I'm impressed. <laughs> Getting all the shade. I'll have a look. Yeah, or else why do we move the thing? Book musk. The room is deeper than it first seemed, and the air has that special smell. Well, don't be nervous. It's a little library. The tomes were someone's treasure once. Now again, they'll find loving hands. Sweet. Goggles found a library. Also, the Bogmore has arrived. I think we're gonna we're gonna secure this as well, actually, because that's quite quite nice. Uh, and I want more items, honestly, and to heal. A thorough delving has found what? Ingots and fabrics. Nice. And the snake stone bracelet, adding dodge. Um, some dodge might be good on Zane Zack. So we're going to up dodge on Zane Zack. As an archer, not much health. Okay, so we need to go north. Scout up there and find Pighaim. Got any up dodge? <laughs> God damn it. Oh, they're getting stronger. The deepests are getting woke slingers. They'll cancel us. They will. Muddy Wader Cedars has been revealed with the Pighame Waterworks and the Lurking Thrixel. So, let's patrol. Clear this out. Boom. Okay. We must clear two more hostile sites before we can take on Pighame. Which means we've got to take that one and that one. Oh, the infection spread, huh? Well, let's head down here. I'm not too worried about the infection if we're quick. We are going to have an army approaching, an incursion approaching soon. Okay, Zushe's Tower. Patrol it. Makes the combat easier for us. Ooh, here it's coming. Let's assault it. I'm just saying, when the job needs doing, and needs doing quickly, some of us bash the skulls, and others stand in the corner and commune with the furniture. I'm not saying which is better. I'm just saying. <laughs> I love this rivalry between Icky and Goggles, god damn. Interfusion is a subtle art. It doesn't surprise me that you can't comprehend it. Yeah. Everything alright? Uh, I thought I saw a snake, but it was just a vine, I guess. 
Don't worry, none of the snakes native to the area around Zushe's tower are particularly dangerous. Couldn't tell you about the vines, though. Uh... Yeah! <laughs> ah! <laughs> oh god, Zenzak's being eaten! Zenzak, what do we do? Whatever you do, do it quick! Oh damn. Let me infuse with the vines. 61% chance of success. I'm gonna destroy the plant. 100% chance of success. I'm so I'm sorry, Goggles, I'm sending in Icky. <laughs> it may be feisty, but it's still made of vine stuff. Okay, but watch it, alright? It's literally winding around him. Hack slash thwomp. Hmm, pulled worse than that out of the carrot patch. You okay? I think so. That was spectacular, Ikifu, I must admit. Let's hope the Frixler is easily cut down. <laughs> Alright, we've got some courage. And we're up against Seeker, Thrixel Dweavers, and Frixel Frusks. I'm gonna clear this place out. Ooh, a hole. Okay. Alright, as per usual, Zero and Icky up to the door. Do I want to just set Guardian immediately? No, probably not. Zanezak. Goggles. There we go. Open the door. Yeah, no, that would have been a waste. Head on in. Zero. There we go. Goggles. Zanezak. Okay, zero. Open that door, please. There they are. All right. Okay. Guardian. Goggles, can you interfuse with anything useful? The bookshelf, maybe. The fabric rolls. Maybe. I'm going to take the bookshelf, I think. Splinter Blast. Can get... Ah, oh, at most one. Can't get both. Well, I think we'll, we'll, go for, we'll go for the thrust. Action economy and all that. Shredded some armor, so it'll be easy to kill. We can't shoot anything from this angle because we're just straight through the door. So we're going to do an ambush. Straight along like that. There we go. And I think we're going to do a guardian as well with Icky. Because this doorway is helpful. Boom! Destroyed! Plus, oh yeah, watch this. I think because Icky and Goggles don't like each other, uh, Icky succeeding there and stunting has caused Goggles to be like, oh yeah, well I'm going to do it now. You know? Which is neat. I think that's what happened anyway. Uh, it doesn't say down there, but who knows. Uh, so I, I, I think... Oh yeah, watch this, here we go. 8-Bit Goggles has accepted a challenge from a rival, so there's higher chance of stunting, which is crits. Can we do anything with the globe, maybe? Yeah, we could potentially take out the Dweaver. Yes, all right. One left. One left, all right. Zanezak just absolutely just needle this thing. Nice, one more, one more. So we're gonna get a strike for Mickey. Beautiful damage there. Lovely. Why did Zack get less experience? The knee pads of cunning. Melee accuracy and ranged accuracy improved. Hmm. So we can go to Icky, Zanezak, or Machine Lord Zero. I'm inclined to go to Icky, who had the knee pads before. As I, I'm sort of building Zero as a barbarian, so accuracy is not required. All right, they've gained stronger armor, but we've taken Zershe's tower. Uh, we could secure it. Honestly, I might secure it. And let's find that item. Because we're, we're at the early stage where we don't have any items, so they will help a lot. All right, here's the incursion. Frixel in great number move to attack your lands, driving peaceful folks before them, leveling homes and hallowed places. Your enemies will travel from tile to tile, attacking and destroying sites until they're defeated by heroes in combat or repelled by defenses you've built. Their numbers will wear down. Once incursion size reaches zero, the enemy will dissipate and the incursion will be over. They're coming from there and they're heading straight to here. We've got 55 days to meet them head on. Our encursion size is four, so their strength is seven, so we actually cannot beat them at the moment. We've got no fucking defenses. I've not built any defenses. That was foolish. Extremely foolish. We're going to lose Hogland Plain. I wonder if we can get to help Felplot and, and secure it. Okay, we've got some items. And we've got the Scarf of Chivalry. That's going to goggles. Because it just looks neat. Prepare defenses in fell plot. We're just gonna go full ham. Quickly, quickly, quickly. Quickly, quickly, quickly. For an old wish passing. Ikifu and Goggles go to pay their respects. 
Icky and Goggles are called to a hill village where an acquaintance of theirs has lost their wife. After this rain comes, the farms will prosper again. Is that the comfort you plan to give old Odina? It's been a dry spring, that's all I mean. The funerary rites are brief. The crowd that's gathered is impressive for such a small town. As mourners disperse, Ikifu and Goggles spot Odina standing by a flower-strung cart bearing a leaf-shrouded body. Odina, we were sorry to hear about Rue. A lot of folks came. Ah, friends. How many years has it been? They go with her up the road to her home on the hill. You lose perspective sometimes. Easy enough to do, sadly. You think you'll have years together. Decades. From your first cake to your middle years, old age, then... And... But... The two help Odina transfer the shrouded body to a small, prepared clay room beside the house. They settle inside and she tells them of her plan and of the provincial customs she's observing. Green veiling, it's called. A woven shroud of Dawnswood. Dawnswood grows thick around here in the little woodlands. You'll see. It's a strong aroma. The body stays fresh. Sometimes as long as four years or five. We hill folk will generally build a clay dome for the departed on the house's shady side. A wadshin is the old word for it. It means memory house. And she'd normally lie there for her term. When the shroud of Dawnswood turns black, she'd be buried. There's something very silencing in that. I think it's a good tradition. But I don't plan on waiting. You don't plan to wait? So you plan to bury her soon? Tonight even? No. My wife Rue and I will be going on a journey, and I hoped you'd come along. Crack. Oh my god, are we... <laughs> are we Frankensteining? Oh. A hard sudden rain falls, chittering and droning like a swarm. Yes, I hoped you'd come. Be our escort. It's a dangerous world, and you're both strong. Stronger even than I remembered. Well, Ikifu might say no, but I'm, I'll am i go with you. I think we have some other things to take care of. Will we have time to come back? <laughs> I think we're going to have to go with it. <laughs> They're off on an adventure. Uh, we're going to leave Zero and Zanezak behind to deal with the ravening hordes. Off they go. Enjoy. <laughs> <clears throat> That's not good. Okay, the enemies are advancing their plans. This is getting tight. Where are you going? Oh my god, they've gone right into the heart of darkness. For an old wish passing, just west of Sunnyplot Lumberyard, Odina leads her oxen cart, carrying the body of her wife down through the hills into the arms of an old forest. Mist rolls in as twilight takes hold behind a cloudy sky. This forest was named Laganid when it was on maps. Absent forest, it meant. Lageniad. Nice try, though. Place I'm looking for shouldn't be far. Can I ask about Rue? I don't think either of us ever met her. I remember you talking about her. I'm sorry, she never came with me to Lowhaven. Always wanted her to, but she was never quite well enough and she insisted on staying home to tend the farm. We met in the spring, I remember clearly. My grandma had just passed. There's nothing more precious than a woman who can make you laugh, even when you're hurting. We built the farm there, on the rocky hill. She liked the farm, Rue. She was a bright and imaginative woman. Shy, though. She was born with an illness that never fully left. Our good times were great. But our bad times, when she couldn't rise from bed, those made my heart splinter. And one day, it shattered. If there's one thing I know, it's that I don't want to live in that empty house without her. Forrest had been dead quiet when they entered. As they've gone deeper, noises have filtered into hearing. Drips, scrapes, low trills. The smells have turned richer, of damp earth. Spicy bark, quilted moss in purple, green, and beige. Soon the ox halts. They come into a clearing where a goddess lives. Odina? What is this? Yes, I intended to find her. The reason I brought Rue here, the reason I'm here, and you're here. Aruwe. She's a goddess of borders and in-betweens. This realm of hers welcomes both dead and living. So I'm here to join her. Rue and I can be together still. Odina, you have to slow down. Clearly this idea has been germinating for some time. Look, it's this forest. I read about it. This goddess, Arue, rules it. Like a region between our world and a place for the departed. I suppose it exists for us, for those like us. A place Rue can be without pain, and I can be with Rue. That's not right, is it? You're talking about dying. I won't be able to leave this place, but why would I wish to? I'll still live. She will too. We'll just live here. You have to understand, this is what I want. 
All I need is for you to help me complete the ceremony and take the poor ox back with you. Try to imagine if you had someone that meant everything to you. The whole world. Uh, I'm gonna go with Vicky on this one. Should be her choice. Well, Odina, if this is what you say it is, then how do we help? How do we make sure you get what you want from it? We'll lay us both at the foot of the shrine and then she'll test us. Aruwe will. We tend to test well, I'd say. It is dangerous. We must duel Aruwe's guardian. That's why I needed you along. But if you decline, I'll understand and I, I'll fight it alone. You're not a fighter, Odina. Hold on to Rue. We're getting an ox out of it, after all. They pull Rue's shrouded body from the from the cart bed. True to its reputation, the woven vines of Dawnswood have kept her perfectly preserved. With Rue across Odina's lap, the two rest at the foot of Aruwe's shrine. Goddess, Goddess Aruwe, hear me. Beneath your mercy lie two who wish to roam your realm together. Live in your lands and laugh again. Live, laugh, and love again. Please, permit us to stay. Send your guardian, and my champion shall stand to fight it. Send your guide, and my love and I shall go behind. Garlands of mist wrap and twist around boughs, statues, arms, and legs, and over their damp, dusted cheeks. The quiet air clumps in their throats. But then, the voice of Uruwe is a groan. Far away and felt more than heard, it's in the stones and roots and rises from somewhere deep down. Truth is tested. A noise nears them, crashing through the trees. Well, here we go. Hopefully the Guardian doesn't make use of the uh, other mooks in the area. Yeah, I hope not. Oh my god. I'm sorry, retainer of the old god. Its inscrutable stony head turns to follow each sound, each movement. Its body crunches and crackles, leaping violently forward. Good news, everyone. We're fighting a goddamn rock. So where is it? Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. I don't know what its movement speed is. Looks like it can crush things, so I'm going to get a bit of cover for Icky. And we're going to go into Guardian. Goggles, you're at the back. I'm going to get you to interfuse with a stone. And we are going to discus the retainer of the old god. Well, we're off to start. Rock and stone. Ah, possibly it can't move through the trees. So that's something to bear in mind. Guardian. And then... Just through here. Just in the hopes. Just in the hopes. Yeet! Oh no, it can! It can! It's coming! Ooh! Should we try the thundering challenge? It's terrified of you! Icky, Icky is genuinely thundering challenged a god. Oh no, we don't need to interviews. We just need to- we just need to discuss again. There's something I would like to discuss with you! <laughs> Retainer of the old god. It's literally going through trees. Oh my god. We're going to put Guardian again on Icky in case it comes back. And then I think we need to interfuse with something else. Uh, let's try that tree. Splinter blast it. We can't splinter blast it. Can we discus it? We can't discus it. Can we rock shield? I guess we can rock shield. Oh, we can do that as a, a minor action, apparently. So we'll also interfuse with this tree. We'll just grab a couple of interfusions. There is something I would like to discuss with you. Putting Guardian up again. Wild Grass. That is a dead god. <laughs> Didn't take a lick of damage. That's what I like to see. That is what I like to see. Icky is now a Bloodhorn Warrior. Alright, Zealous Leap. Every other turn is a swift action. Icky Fu makes a daring leap up to three spaces away. That sounds like more of a zero thing. Heroism. Once per combat, Icky gains one action point and attack actions only cost one action point. Mm -hmm. Upgrade the Thundering Challenge. Can now target multiple enemies. Mm -hmm. Or Stalwart. It's a swift action. Icky can enable such a disable Stalwart, which grants plus three armor and warding, but reduces his speed by half. Mm -hmm. That could work. Or heroism. Uh, no, I like heroism. Memorial Pauldron. Uh, Aruwe's Memorial Pauldron. Uh, I think that's going to go to... Well, Icky's already got one, so I think it's going to go to Goggles, because they were on this adventure together. The Guardian falls, its great stone knees clattering apart, rolling in the moss. The wheeling rocks gather dust and shadows as they settle, until they look like they've rested there for centuries. The glade goes calm, and then Odina starts to fade. Goddess? The wrapped body of Rue across her lap seems to lose its substance. She has time to say, thank you, friends. And she's gone. 
Well, now that's done. <laughs> hmm? Where's the ox got to? Yeah, good thinking. They find it not far off, lowing pleasantly and munching clover. Yeah, free ox, everyone. Nice, world's still here. <laughs> God damn it, Hickey. So easily excited. You're impossible to get along with, you know that. Hey, that light's annoying. I picked these up around the stones where Odina disappeared. Didn't even think about it. I'm making notes. They return to the farm Odina and Rue once built. They set things in order and see that it passes to a worthy family. Then they're on their way again. The road is pale, splotched and torn in places with ruts and grass. Stretches of the journey are entirely wordless. Blustery weather's coming back. Hmm. Those memories. Old wishes of ours. It's hard to let the good things go. I know it is, and I feel sometimes I... The wind picks up. I don't know. Hmm. Hmm. Erode the colour of old canvas billows in front of them and behind them. <laughs> 